Brother Ra coming to you with another GMS on the go. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching us this truth according to the Bible. And a double shalom to all the Akims out there pushing the truth to the best of their ability, regardless of whom here forbears. The title of this lesson is called Two Thirds. Of you, uh, two thirds despise the Lord. That word despise goes back to hate. All right. And like we always say, these videos are only for the hopeful elect, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. So let's dive right into it. Uh, the book of St. Luke, chapter 10, verse 16. He that heareth you. Heareth me. This is written in red, coming from Yahushai, who you ignorantly call Jesus. And Yahushai is saying, and I'm going to start from the top. He that heareth you, heareth me. So for the hopeful elect of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, walking up and down on the highways and byways, are, gonna, are the only ones that are hearkening and listening to the truth. All right? All right, when you see the men um, of GMS set up on the highways and byways pushing the truth, you're hearing um, your house shy. All right? And it reads on, and he that despiseth you despiseth me. And again, that word despise goes back to hate. For the scoffers, two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans that hate um, this truth that was written for your learning, you don't um, you don't only hate us, you hate Yahweh Shai. All right? And how are you hating um, How are you hating the truth? You hate what is written in the Bible, the right things, the righteous thing that was written in the Bible. All right? Which is uh, keeping the statute laws and commandments. All right? And all the other righteous things that are written in the Bible, ultimately, um, the commandments is what two-thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans hate. All right? You hate the fact that um, you can't worship these pagan gods like Buddha, Allah, Santa Maria, all right? Jesus Christ, all right? Which is Cesare Borgia, all right? You hate the fact that um, you can't um, eat abominable foods like shrimp, crab, lobster, pork, catfish, all right. You hate the fact that um we're speaking against homosexuality. All right. You can't sleep. A man is not supposed to be sleeping with another man. A woman is not supposed to sleep with another woman. All right. You hate the fact that we we um we are righteous men speaking against that. You hate that. All right. And because of that, you hate your house shy. And it reads on, and he that despiseth me, meaning Yahweh Shai, despiseth him that sent me, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. All right? Ultimately, two thirds of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you hate Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. All right? Because the Heavenly Father is the one who created um, all things. All right? Which also created. Um, the scriptures that was written for our learning. So if you don't want to hear us and you um don't like what we're pushing, which is the truth, then you hate the Lord. That's ultimately who you hate. All right? We're just mouthpieces of the Lord through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, being watchmen set up on a <clears throat> on the highways and byways to warn you from the Lord. All right? To warn you from destruction or judgment coming to you if you don't want to hearken to the truth. And we know only the hopeful elect is going to hearken to the truth. So ultimately, two-thirds again, two-thirds you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you hate the Lord. That's what it boils down to. All right? When we were, um, when, and I know a lot of brothers can um, testify to this, before we were in the truth, and man, the world loved us, man. My phone used to blow up all the time, man. Um, to to go to cookouts, to hang out at the club, all right. To 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 go um 
to go to Cooper's Barbecue, all right, which is a local spot in, in Raleigh that, that pretty much sells pork, all right? Before, the truth, man, man, Jake would hit us up all the time, man, wanting to do wicked things, man, celebrating birthdays and all that other crap, man, all right? But now we're pushing the truth, and they don't want to hear it. Ultimately, they despise the Lord, man. Phones ain't blowing up no more. You know, they think we bugged out because we pushing the truth. And that includes family, man. Two thirds of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. When we talk about um, how hateful you are and how you hate your heritage, you hate the truth that was written for your learning. That includes family members, too, man. That don't exclude a lot of a lot of us have family members that are two thirds. Clearly, are two thirds. They don't want to hearken to the truth. All right, they hate the Lord. They call themselves Christians. All right, but don't even uh, take heed to the words that are written in the Bible. And that includes um, these false prophets, man. There's no such thing as upper echelon two-thirds. You a two-third, you a two-third, period. All right? I don't care if you got a doctor degree, a master's degree. All right? I don't care if you can um you can solve um uh, the world's uh hardest math problem. If you going against the word, if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, you a two-third. You're basically two-third. You despise the Lord, period. All right. Scripture I want to bring out is um, Isaiah 30 and 10. Which reads, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. That word prophecy um, goes back to tell you something before it happens. Two-thirds of so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you want to hear about right things. What are the right things? The things written in the Bible. All right? If it's not coming out of the Bible and broken down according to the Bible, then it's not right. It's wrong. So your local pastors like um, T.D. Snakes and Al Sharptongue, all right, telling you that the old law is done away with, all right, they're telling you lies, all right? The old law is not done away with. Okay? And for you uh, so-called Christians, you know, always raising your hand in church, talking about you love the Lord. Let's see what love means according to the Bible. Before we, um, I'm going to hold that and I'm going to go back to um, Isaiah 30 and 10. But let's see what love means. Because you claim you love the Lord, but let's see what love means. Because you can't really, um, you can't just talk about hate if you don't also talk about love according to the Bible. The book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of the Most High. The Most High is giving you the definition of what love is. And it reads on, that we keep his commandments. That's right. The Lord is saying, if you love me, you're going to keep my commandments. What are some of the commandments? Not eating abominable foods. Shrimp, crab, lobster, pork. Catfish. The Lord's telling you not to eat those um, abominable foods. Not to celebrate pagan holidays. All right? Uh, Halloween. Thanksgiving. Christmas. Your birthday. All right? That's, that's what's wrong with our people, man. They get offended when you get this truth. And you don't call them up on their birthday. You because you don't celebrate the birthdays, man. You don't you you and it's true. If you if you love the Lord, you're trying to keep the statute laws and commandments to the best of your ability. The Lord is telling you don't celebrate these pagan holidays, which includes your birthday. And because I don't call you on your birthday and I told you I don't celebrate it, you get offended by that. As I read in Luke, St. Luke um, chapter 10, verse 16, it's not me you hate, you hate the Lord. You hate the Lord. If you, if, if, if me, if me calling you, um, if me not calling you on your birthday determines whether or not I care about you or I love you, obviously you despise the Lord. That's basically what it boils down to. All right. 
That's self-worship, man. And it reads on. And his commandments are not grievous. If you're not complaining or having a problem with keeping these statute laws and commandments. All right. That's what our purpose on this earth is for, is to please Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. The controller of everything, of all things, good and evil, pursuing to Isaiah 45 and 7. So that is the definition of love. I'm going to read from the top and I'm going to go back. The book of uh, 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of the Most High, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. We're not complaining about keeping the statute laws and commandments. All right. So I'm going to go back to Isaiah chapter 30, verse 10. And would say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. All right. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy deceits. Those smooth things that um, Pastor um, T.D. Snakes and Al Sharpton and your local um, Pastor Pork Chops is telling you, they're all lies, man. Telling you that the old law is done away with. All right. Telling you um, that our Lord and Savior is a so-called white man, Jesus Christ. All right, telling you um, uh, that uh, you can you can celebrate these pagan holidays is just for fun and all that. Man, that's a damn lie, man. The Lord is telling you not to celebrate these pagan holidays. All right, telling you that um, the God of the Bible is all love. That's a lie. There's an equal balance with the Lord, man. There's a perfect balance, man. The Lord loves and hates. These so-called pastors not even telling you so-called Negroes, Latino Native, and Native Americans that you're the children of Israel because they withholding that information from you. That's a lie. That's a lie, man. Not telling you um, about these prophecies that are coming and pass. That's a lie. They're not telling you um, that the Lord is sending his only begotten son, Yahushua, to destroy this bitch called America. Excuse my language. All right. They're not telling you that. They're telling you that Yahweh, who you in call Jesus, is coming down um, with hugs and kisses. All right. And like Elder always say, um, snicker bars. <laughs> These local pastors ain't telling you the truth. They're telling you all lies. They're speaking to you smooth things. And that's why the Lord is going to destroy you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. For wanting to, to listen to that crap, man. All right? And it's and that's all according to the Bible. Everything I'm telling you is according to the Bible. Telling you that, um, you know, um, it's okay to be homo homosexual or whatever. All right? Because it's, you know, God loves everyone. The Lord hates sin. And he hates the sinners that are doing it. All right? So I'm going to read um, the book of Isaiah, chapter 30, verse 10. Would say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. They don't want to hear what's coming out of the Bible. Your local pastors ain't reading um, the scriptures according to the Bible. You might have um, a so-called Christian pastor bring out a scripture. Most likely he's going to break it down wrong. And he won't bring out a scripture for the rest of the um, sermon. All right. Everything he's going to speak on is according to his own vain thoughts. He's not going to break it down. He's not going to go into definitions. All right. The men of the Lord is going to do that. The prophets, the prophets speaking through the um, with the mouthpieces of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, telling you, um, breaking down the scriptures, start with the apostles and elders on down. All right. Breaking down the scriptures according to the Bible. But you so-called pastors want to um, go off your own vain thoughts and lie to the um, uh, so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. And the Lord is going to deal with you according to the scriptures. The Lord is going to deal with these local pastors lying to, to um, the Lord's people, man. Because two-thirds of you so-called Negro, Latino,